Orlando. What's up everybody? My name is Paul. And I'm Luke. And we are Twin Sauce. And Alonzo or a smooth is here with us today. So we got twin sauce and a smooth. <laughs> hey, twin sauce and a smooth. We're actually we got, just walking around a uh, national park south today. Smooth over here, you know. Uh, what I'm kind of not starting to talk about the park we're at. Okay, we are at uh, what park is this? Sabino Canyon. Sabino, Sabino Canyon, Canyon. and it's like uh, Tucson, Arizona, and it's pretty spectacular. I'm not gonna lie, I was not nearly expecting this, but look at this. Hey, this is so in the inside of a canyon. Insane. That's where um hum or uh, pecking uh, woodpeckers are actually born typically they'll they'll actually learn something new metal. every day oh and Krissa no. sister Krissa is on the phone at uh, FaceTime yeah hey. with, with just the poop nugget part face of the world Matthew, Matthew Moore. Moore uh no I think uh you're a poop nugget <laughs> <laughs> okay let's go to oh I miss them a lot we're just walking around this park it's gonna be and I'm sharing my experiences with my family yeah sharing experiences yeah with family yeah and Alonzo <laughs> Is so cool. So it's like 6:30. Sun is setting. 6:30. What time is it? 6:30. Yeah, 6:30. Yeah, and there's like bats flying around. All of these uh, <laughs> like cactuses. It's so cool. And like at first I thought they were little birds. And then like you see their wings like when they open up when they're really close to you. And then they're, they're like see through. And you can see like the the bat. It's like it's it's it's, it's surreal because I've never seen a bat in real life before. <laughs> I love this place. I want to go to the the creek that they were talking about. If we like, I know. Got here, we didn't do the drone. We just like we just booked it. Down. Yeah. I, I got shorts in the car. We could have ran. Oh, we could have, oh my god. A poor, poor Alonzo would have been in his work clothes, but <laughs> we'll warn you next time. Where are we? Uh, where are we? Yeah, yeah, something. <laughs> Cali Tepa, I guess? Tapa, Tapa. So guys, I got to change my shirt today. Yeah. I'm actually not in like work clothes anymore. Kind of <laughs> myself. He stole my shirt. Uh, <laughs> Oh, we were able to find vegan options? I was. They had veggie tacos, which I just took the cheese off of, and voila. It's amazing. I like I never would have like tried veggie tacos anywhere until I became vegan. So I think one thing that I've learned that I've liked the most about becoming vegan is I try things I would never have tried before and I've loved things that I didn't think I would like. How's that? It's good except I didn't order them without cheese. So I spent a long time picking out cheese. <laughs> wow, uh, you live and you learn. Live and learn. Eat cheese. Cheese. Yeah, pick it off. Cheese. Like this. That's very good. I got a guac one. So it has a lot of guac in it, and it's great. What'd you get, Alonzo? I got a beef torta. So we're about to figure this out. I'm trying not to make a mess, but it's inevitable. I like there's fragments of cheese in here that I'm sure it's gonna savage once it's gonna be. We're gonna, go, we're gonna go crave some coffee at Crave Coffee to crave some stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. He's over here giggling. <laughs> I'd like me some plants. <laughs> so we're here at Crave. It is a really legit coffee shop and it's open late, like really late at night. And it's like, their vibes are killing. It was recommended to us by our friend Mariah, who is in Kenya right now. We've talked a lot about her. Alright, so I don't even normally drink coffee, but this is actually absolutely amazing. Update, that's not actually coffee. It's, uh, 
a chai tea latte, so we're just gonna move on after that. Yep. It's something, it worked out, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, no, literally, like, the vibes kill the game. I like, I don't, it's very eclectic, but it's also like lots of metal. So like metal everywhere, they've got wood accents, which is like literally my vibes. Um, they also have plants. Over there like, has like plants and like it's like all, it looks like there's been rain drainage on the sides of the wall, so like it like, Oh, it's like so, it's so cool. Luke hasn't been over there yet. It sounds like they're from like a, like a booth from a restaurant or something. Yeah, yeah. But I want to build one of these. I know, for, for our, our couch. Yeah, for our couch. And then you get, these can be armrests inside. This place is killing it. And their coffee's really good. Luke, I guess you'll have to give an update because I still have, I've got, I got myself a try to see what I'm drinking their Guatemalan that they got from a local roaster. I don't know, I like it. It's, it's good. And I got it in a, uh, Siphon. So you need to. Which is not a method I usually actually go for. I talked really slow this entire time. Um, don't spin it too fast because the thing's gonna tip over. Stupid. They have like the little metal um, bicycle. I don't know why I couldn't pick a bicycle for that period of time. All the way out the way. Out the way. There you go. You get it. Right there. You can kind of see the cactus. I've never seen a cactus like that before, but I'm digging it. I'm just a bit salty, okay? A bit, a bit salty for no reason. <laughs> You're a bit salty because I'm gonna hang out with a lot all, all week? Okay! What a day of adventure. Yeah, I mean, look at that. We even got uh, Mexican food vegan. Except I. He did not. He consumed parts of <laughs> I got a lot done. Actually, I got my edit done here, and it's not even 10 o'clock yet. But thank the Lord for coffee shops that close at 10 o'clock because. Look at this. It's a beautiful sight. It's rendering. It's not even 10 o'clock. I can get some rest tonight. Last night I was up till 1.30 editing and today was really hard. <laughs> it was rough. The twins have been gone for four days now. And I haven't had any human interaction. I'm slowly descending into madness. Just kidding. I don't survive over human interaction. I've been testing out Luke's purple mattress to see if I wanted one for myself. And fun fact, I do. So, um, just don't ever come back home so I don't have to spend a thousand dollars on a mattress. And you can stay in Arizona forever and I'll just be alone here by myself. Don't take it by. Thank you.